Spawn camping has always been an extremely hot topic within the Splatoon community. Not a day goes by where someone doesn't make a tweet or a Reddit post about being spawn camped. And as a result, a lot of different views and opinions have been formed on the subject. Believe it or not, in my four years of making Splatoon content, I've actually never made a video talking about spawn camping. Well, until now. I've always had thoughts surrounding this topic, and I think it's finally time to discuss them with you all. If you enjoy the video and want to see more Splatoon content like this, it would mean a lot if you hit the like button and considered subscribing. So when it comes to spawn camping, I think there's two categories. There's spawn camping to win the game, and there's also spawn camping to be a bitch, both of which occur quite frequently. Let's go over both in detail. First, we have spawn camping to win. In order to really understand this, we have to take a look at the core basics of how Splatoon works as a game. On any given team of four, the general idea idea is that if your team has a numbers advantage, you guys will push up. In other words, when the enemies are dead and respawning, it's in your team's best interest to capitalize on that and take the space that you guys created. This puts your team in a great position to keep progressing the objective and potentially knock the objective out. If your team's advantage is good enough, you can position yourself right where the enemies are dropping from their spawn launchers and basically kill them instantly. If a player is skilled enough, they can remain in this position for an extended period of time time, essentially going on a kill streak in the enemy spawn. In other words, you're spawn camping. So here's the question, is spawn camping wrong? Here's my take on it. If just one or two people on your team are spawn camping, then no, it's not wrong. It's the correct way to play the game. If your team has the advantage, why wouldn't select members of your team push up? You're maintaining that space that your team created, and by continuing to kill the enemies in their spawn, you're giving the rest of your teammates the ability to keep pushing the objective. Now, I think the word spawn camping just has a lot of negative connotations attached to it, but that is generally how you're supposed to play the game. Now, in Splatoon 3, Nintendo did try to give people respawning a bit of an advantage by giving them some armor for a brief period of time immediately after launching. And while the armor is pretty significant, a player who knows what they're doing can work around it. In a scenario where both the spawn camper and person spawning in are relatively equal in terms of skill though, the person spawning in will certainly have the advantage. Anyway though, back to what I was saying about spawn camping being the correct way to play, you might be thinking, okay Chase, so spawn camping is the correct way to play the ranked modes because it creates space for the rest of your team to knock out the objective. But what about turf war, where you can't knock out the objective? The honest truth is, I do believe that majority of the people who complain about spawn camping do come from turf war. Because yeah, since turf wars are always guaranteed to be 3 minutes long, getting spawn camped in this mode is is not the best feeling, especially if it's continuously happening for most of the match. Here's my take on this. I don't think any player who's spawn camping in turf war should be blamed, but rather the mode itself should be blamed. Because if you really think about it, if one team has the numbers advantage and they've pushed all the way up into the opposing team spawn, what else should they do? Assuming that majority of the map is already painted in their color, it only makes sense to have at least one or two people trying to maintain the space that was created. If they just backed up to the middle of the map and let the enemies spawn in freely, that wouldn't make sense. You'd just be intentionally letting the other team come back for free. So besides the advantage team just feeling bad for the enemies, there's really zero reason to not spawn camp if you have the opportunity to. This is why I'm saying that the game should be blamed for turf war spawn camping, not the players. It's a negative attribute of the mode. It promotes spawn camping to win. Now again, I did say that some people on a team should spawn camp, probably not all four people, because if they're not careful and end up getting wiped out, then they might end up losing if there's enough time left in the match. And if there's a full team that's hardly painting the map and just immediately heading to the enemy base to spawn camp, then yeah, that's not cool. The objective shouldn't be ignored to spawn camp. Spawn camping should only take place once the map is mostly painted in one team's color. Now, I know that even after this whole explanation, some people are still going to have counter arguments, such as, 
I'm just trying to have a chill, casual session with my friends. I shouldn't have to deal with skilled players that are spawn camping me. Again, this is an issue with the game. Splatoon's matchmaking is quite literally garbage, and extremely skilled players can be put against a group of players who only touch this game once every few months. It sucks, but that's just how it's always been, and that's probably how it's going to continue to be. Don't blame the players, blame the game. Also, what I'm about to say next is going to irritate some people. That is not my intention, but it needs to be said. There is a solution to getting spawn camped. You can improve at the game and learn to take advantage of your spawn armor to get rid of those pesky spawn campers. A general tip I have is that if you're getting spawn camped, don't just keep dropping from the high ground, wait for your team to all be alive, and then try to work your way out of spawn together. This is easier to do on some maps than others, which brings us into a whole nother issue with spawn camping, being this game's map design, but we're not going to get into that here. My point is, you're own skill can be improved to prevent spawn camping. I've been spawn camped myself before, multiple times, and yeah, it's not fun. But I didn't go on Twitter or Reddit to complain after it happened. I realized that I needed to improve at the game to prevent that from happening again. But Chase, I don't have time to play this game super often. Well, if that's the case, you just have to deal with it. It's only three minutes of your life. If you got horribly spawn camped, queue out of your current lobby, wait a minute or so, and then join a new one. I know that's probably not what you want to hear, but it's either that or stop playing the game altogether, because I don't see Nintendo really doing anything to fix spawn camping at least in Splatoon 3. Okay, so that whole rant I just went on was just about the first category of spawn camping, which I labeled as spawn camping to win. But there is one other type of spawn camping that I don't think is morally correct. In fact, doing this type of spawn camping is one of the worst things you can do in Splatoon in my opinion. It's such an move. What am I talking about? I'm referring to when a full team of four intentionally chooses to not knock out the objective just to farm kills. Some people don't even know that this is a thing, but I'm sure most people watching this have experienced it at least once. This type of spawn camping only really happens in the ranked modes. I mean, I guess it can happen in Turf War 2 if a team isn't actually painting the map and just tries to farm kills, but that's pretty rare. Anyway, let me actually show you what I'm talking about. This is a video that I posted to my second channel where a team that my friends and I encountered in Anarchy Open was doing exactly what I just described. They totally could have knocked out the Rainmaker here, but instead of doing that, they just backed up from the pedestal and spawn camped us. Now I know what some of you might be thinking here. Chase, the same thing you said before still applies. Just get good and kill the enemies so that they can't spawn camp you anymore, and then and knock out the Rainmaker yourself. Well, it's funny you say that because we did. We actually got them out of our spawn and brought the game back. So yeah, it's cool that we ended up beating these guys in the end and it was pretty funny cause they looked really dumb. But overall, this whole situation was really stupid. The enemies could have just easily ended this game three minutes ago. Then we would have been like, oh darn, they played better than us. GG, on to the next game. But no, instead, this team wanted to inflate their ego and waste everyone's time just to get an impressive looking KD screen. This type of spawn camping is not cool because this is not how the game is intended to be played. If you have the opportunity to knock out the objective, then do it. Don't create a miserable experience for the other team just because you have the opportunity to. Don't make the game longer than it needs to be. I do want to point out that this usually only happens in Anarchy Open because it's typically only teams that have people communicating with each other who do this. I guess it can happen in solo play as well, but it's pretty rare. And chances are at least one person on the team will do the morally correct thing and KO the objective. But yeah, unlike the previous type of spawn camping that we discussed, I totally understand why people would get upset at this, because it's not how Nintendo wants you to play the game. If you don't believe me, there was actually a team of top players who got their Switch accounts banned for doing this exact thing. They intentionally didn't knock out the objective, kept farming the enemies as they dropped from spawn, and ended with this. It's pretty crazy. 
Now, to be perfectly clear, let me reiterate the differences between the things we've discussed today. Spawn camping to win, aka spawn camping for other people on your team to push the objective, is okay. That's how you're supposed to play the game, by creating space for your teammates to further advance the objective and potentially knock it out if done properly. Even if one individual person is just spawn camping and not contributing to the objective themselves, that's okay because their other teammates are. Spawn camping in Turf War, while a bit lamer, is still okay because that's still the advantage team trying to win the game. What's not okay is when a full team of four people are intentionally not advancing the objective just to take advantage of their advanced skill over the opposing team. And if you don't agree with me saying that's not okay, then you should take that up with Nintendo because they clearly don't think that's okay either. All in all, just be a good person and try to win your matches as fast as possible. All right guys, that was a lot of talk about spawn camping, but I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give the video a like and consider subscribing if you wanna see more videos like this. Also, leave a comment letting me know what you think about spawn camping. I'd love to hear what all of you have to say. I know it's a sensitive topic for some people, but I do kindly ask that everyone be respectful to one another in the comment section. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you all next time.